Hello G Nation, we got another character preview. It is Ken Shamrock, Master of the Ankle Lock. He is the chase character for this month event. And again, I know, sorry I'm posting this late, but I had some major computer issue. Needed to reinstall my old system. Everything is taking me forever to do right now because I don't have much of what I need installed and configured. And uh, on top of that, everyone is very sick. So that doesn't help. Like I thought I was getting some bad allergies a few days ago. Well, turns out it's not allergies. It's some kind of cold or virus or whatever. I'm doing much better now, but my wife and kid are not. <laughs> it's pretty bad for them right now. All right, so let's have a look at Ken Shamrock. So his card, the trainer ability at 18,000 is color turn gems do 100% more damage. Uh, we saw that's pretty useful for Riddle, for example. There's a few characters that use color turn gems. Uh, is it Bailey, Acro, I think? There's a few of them. So it's definitely a nice increase over uh, the ones we had, like Christian, for example, but not that used often. Uh, he has links with other attitude era, so even though it looks well not looks but they put a modern icon on the card it's he's actually attitude era because i mean he left the italy in 99 so clearly that's the attitude era not modern and he doesn't have any gear so i gotta say this one is a bit odd to say the least uh first he's got three submission and they're releasing him on the month where they actually remove what made submission so ungodly OP and they're back to just being eh, okay. So it's kind of odd that they're releasing it on them on that. And also he looks like a pretty slow character. So he doesn't like have that big, like exciting thing that you normally have for chase character. He looks pretty boring, really. So We'll have a look. He looks effective, but he looks slow. So the first move set we're gonna have a look at is the ankle lock. It is a 10 MP green move. Submission generate 30 random submission gems and do 124.5k damage for four turn while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into botch gems. The corner whip clothesline, seven MP black move deal 83.4k damage and make 24 botch gems into green gems. And the Hurricane Rana, 7 MP green move, deal 93.7k damage, and choose 6 gems to make into black. So basically we're going to have a move that is going to make our black. Uh, we are then going to execute our submission, which is going to put a whole bunch of botch. And then those botch will be turned in green, which will hopefully do a ton of damage. Thanks to the setup we're going to be using, which is obviously steel, so that we start with more green. We got Riddle here adding 40% to the botch gem damage. Normally it would be 50%, but this is not the preview Riddle. This is my Riddle now. So he's only at 10k for now. So he's not maxed at 50. So it's 40 for now. Still more than the 35 you would get from Seamus. So I'll take that. Uh, I got Stacy here to add 50% more damage to bot gems. And I put in Ogan here. Don't really care about the extra 1 MP. I'm not going to need that. But I do care about the extra 2200 for all color gem. You could go specifically for 2200 green with Luger as well. You could go with percentage instead. You could go with... Uh, what's the name of the other one? Uh, you got Shayna also that adds percentage 15 percent more to botch but 2200 fix is going to be more than 15 percent so that's why i went with ogan as far as the belt go uh metals are all fury right now you could go with armor they're not optimal it's just what i already add on uh the move damage really won't make that big of a difference here i did swap the plate for the all art which is whenever you generate three or more submission gems increase your green gem damage by 100 percent for two turn and the purple but green is going to be the one we care the more here so that's going to be pretty useful you could also go with uh, i think it's ed game i have another one free here yeah, I got one here. 
had gained increase a gem critical by 20% and create 10 random botch gem when this superstar lands a critical gem it useful too but i'd much rather have the all art uh, increased green gem damage by 100% because that's where the majority of our damage is going to come from so let's see how that go you could in a feud setup you could use everything that boosts the submission instead of the green gem and botch gem that would probably work well although now you're getting plus 50 percent from sub instead of plus 200 percent so they won't be a deal breaker anymore all right and we do have the perks on now i completed my town up so i got the tour perks i need one green and uh three black so what I'll do is get four black here. That's going to give me one green, and hopefully it's going to remain my turn. Might not, but we're going to give it a shot. It did. If we had a cascade, it wouldn't, but we were fine. So now we're going to put the 30 sub gems. Hopefully a lot of them are going to remain. That's a downside if you extend the submission, that means you're gonna have less. We do have a bunch that are left and they're all close, so. Now or green, a normal green does 34,000 right now and one with a bunch does 44,000. And now we're gonna convert 24 into greens. Which is pretty much all the ones that were left. That did not do nearly as much as I thought it would. I'm just short one. I'll get it next turn anyway, so let's use the submission. I mean, the, the upside is that he won't ever get to do anything as far as move goes, because I'll always submit him. So he's not doing much to me. The downside is that definitely not that fast. Now we'll be converting them into green again. one point eight mil that's a lot better than the first time the first time did 600k 1.8 mil is definitely better all right so this is better than i thought it's obviously not turn one but what was that like turn three fairly fast turn so i mean this is not bad not bad nothing that is gonna be, is gonna wow anyone but not bad right, let's look at something else all right, second move set for Shamrock is going to be very similar. The difference is we are switching the Irican Rana that was making or black, and instead we're putting the arm bar to get or black. It is an 8 MP green move. Color submission, make 14 random gems into black submission gems, and do 118.3k damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into budge gem. We're going to be getting some more botch gems out of those. So we're going to have two subs giving us botch to then turn with the black. And we'll get the black from that one. So it should be very similar, I think. Uh, trainers, we're going to, again, keep the exact same thing. Now, this might be worth a little more to boost the submission since we got two of them. Uh, might make more of a dent in a feud setup, for example. Like maybe I could switch uh santa ogan for uh bruno but i kind of want to keep everything boosting for when i'm gonna turn those botch into green especially now we're probably gonna have a little more so we'll see all right we'll give it a shot and if it's not that great we'll know all 
right, so we'll put that submission out. It is random, we just need one match. We got more than one. Few remains, so at least the submission will go out. Well, we got three that remained. Now we're gonna put the other submission now. Good amount left. Now our regular green are doing 45k. And a green with a botch is doing 55. Because keep in mind, I did two submissions there. So my uh, all art plate got activated twice. So I got 200% boost on those greens right now. So now we're going to turn 24 of those. And most are kind of... I don't think we're gonna get the 1.8 we did last time. There's less connected this time around than there was. Like, it would be nice if this one had a bunch. Still a million. Yeah, he's getting out of that. Especially as a striker. Striker have crazy gem damage. Okay, so let's do the first sub. That's gonna prevent him from using moves. And it's gonna give us our black. A few left. Okay, let's get out of that. Submission again. Again, now they're doing 78,000 for those with botches and 68 for the regular. So this should hit like a truck and he barely has any health left. Two million. Well, I definitely like this one better. Uh, we, I think we were just not lucky the first time we used it and we didn't do that much. But I think this has higher damage potential than the first move set. Plus, you got two submissions that are going to give you uh, more control over taking away his MP for sure. You basically always have a sub out and uh, even more damage on feud set up with the extra 50%. Not 200 anymore, but still 50%. So I do like this better than the first one. Now let's have a look at something completely different. All right, third move set we're going to have a look at. It's uh, all different moves. It is a sleeper old 8 MP red move. Color submission. Choose 8 gems to make into black submission gem. And do 108k damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into botch gem. The Edbot 8 MP red move. Deal 90.2k damage plus 32.2k bonus damage for every botch gem. And the corner whip clothesline again, because the other black move has the exact same name. So expend, expect one of those to change name. This one is a five MP black move. Choose one gem to convert into two turn juggernaut gem. That will gain nine red MP on every countdown turn and modify a four by four random Maria into bodge gems at the end of the countdown. Now, since the blind move only costs five, I don't need an MP trainer. I need an MP coach with Ogun because I get four on turn one, thanks to the three from the perk and one from the first turn. So with Ogun, I'm going to be at five. So I can go with both Seamus and with Riddle. Again, Riddle should do 50% one max, once max, mine is not. So I'm getting 35 from Seamus and 40 from Riddle right now. I'm getting another 50 from Stacy. 
And uh, in this case, I don't really care about the extra damage. I really more wanted the plus one MP. Uh, if you don't have a Ogin that gives you plus one, then you probably, instead of Ogin, want to put either Shayna or Blue Blood Triple H to get you an extra 15% on botch gems. And then you're going to need to replace Sheamus with MP, uh, with, uh, in this case, uh, Woods. Woods Striker, by the way. As far as the belt, didn't touch again the medals, but the skill plate, this time I'm definitely going with Edgain. It is increased critical gem chance by 20% and create 10 random bot gem when this superstar land a critical gem it. So obviously it would be nice if we get a crit with the gems. That way we're gonna have even more of those bots on the board. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to get our Juggernaut out. Put it here. I don't have a black match. It would have been nice if I did. So we're going to go with a red match, even though I'm going to get my red anyway. Oh, and we got a gem crit. So we got those out. That's great. Now we got our red. Now I can either already use it, which... I won't. We're gonna put our sub. Now I'm gonna get my black back with this. And now we're just... I'm trying to put them in spots that are not gonna match with a black right away. Well, I could put them just on blacks that are already there too. That would probably just be easier. All right, hopefully some of them are gonna remain. That's gonna give us a lot more of those boss gems out. And we're getting a four by four Aria next turn thanks to that Juggernaut that's gonna go off. Unfortunately, it's going over four that we already had. Put another one here. How many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We got 23 of them that are going to do 72k each plus 102. That should do. He's got 2.78 right now. That did 1.78 million. The downside is it's not a 1.7 mil pin now the plus side is that a lot of those are still going to be there on my turn and uh when the juggernaut go off it's going to give me my red so i can do the move that does damage based on the amount of botch gem left and then the submission after to finish him I just got my red. But that was actually sped up by a turn. So we're gonna do this. It's probably gonna do like, again, about 2 million. He is out. I don't even need to put another Juggernaut. The submission is just gonna end it. And just put them wherever. Again, pretty damn effective. And it's pretty low cost too, which is great. As far as the black goes, obviously. Now, let me show you some options at six star. Uh, if we look... Six star move is a stun move. If we check the detail, if I look it up on the portal, the Norton Light Suplex is gonna be a nine MP black move. It deals 187.4K damage and force your opponent to skip their turn for two turns. 
So you could use this move instead of the botch gem move here, which I don't think I'd like it because then you're losing pretty much your whole damage. So I'm not a huge fan of that. But you could also use that black move with the move, the submission that makes black and the corner whip clothesline that converts black into green because that way you're going to have the submission giving you the black that you need here you're going to get those bots giving you back your green so they're pretty much going to be feeding each other and you get that black move to go off every two turns which is a two turn skip move so i would probably use the corner whip clothesline the arm bar and that northern light suplex skip turn that would probably be a pretty good combo there so yeah that's it for shamrock i mean he's a pretty good character is he exceptional no uh is he worth to be a chase character i'd say probably no because he's he's missing that like excitement that you get out of those uh getting those chase character uh he doesn't like have much to be appealing he's definitely a good character don't get me wrong he does the trick really really well uh just not really my play style too slow uh but yeah he is effective he's just like not not one of those wow guys so uh thanks for watching guys if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys Gia. ciao